What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper, bringing you my favorite bet of the day to get November started. November 1st, Tuesday, in the sports world. A lot to break down. We'll talk about last night, talk about today. We'll also talk about what we got going on here at Odd Chopper. If you're just finding out about Odd Chopper for the first time, welcome aboard. We're breaking down all things betting, from football to basketball to hockey to everything in between. If you like what you see, you want to support us, hit the like button. It is much appreciated. And if you want to be part of this team, subscribe. Make sure you don't miss out on all the content we're producing. Last night, Monday Night Football, the Browns finally looked good, handled them at home. And what did I say in the video? The Browns won the game. I think we all realized that Nick Chubb was really primed to have a big game. He had a big game. Cross century mark. Uh, we were over on his rushing prop. It looked great. Worked out. Sometimes it goes according to plan. There, sometimes it does not. When it does, you want to maximize. We were able to do that. And that was a great feeling to end October and give us momentum into November. So we cashed that ticket and we move on to today. In addition, another great way to get started for the month is $200 free dollars courtesy of BetMGM. Link in the description of this video. You sign up, you deposit, you take the $10 you deposited, you put it on the NBA money line. And once a team hits a three pointer, $200 in the account in free bets. It is that simple. You take the money, bet whatever you want with it. Maybe, just maybe, you bet some action because it's Tuesday. Normally, we all take a breath. No, no, no. There is football today, real egregious football. The MAC is in play. Ball State and Kent State, Buffalo and Ohio. You don't see that one because I'm in New York, but that's irregardless. I got the play. Expect some points. Let's get into these teams because I'm sure many of you watching are saying I don't I don't watch Ball State football because you're a normal person, and I respect that. Sadly, uh, for me, I do watch Ball State football, so I can tell you about them. Four and four on the year. They beat Murray State. They beat Northern Illinois. They beat Central Michigan and UConn. Pretty simple. They play crazy fast. Eighth in seconds per play in the entire country. They throw the ball all over the place. 40 passes per game. 16th in the country. That's what they do. Ball State throwing the ball. When they're trailing, they're throwing the ball. When they're winning, they play tempo. That's how they try to beat teams. So certainly in non-con, you know, when you're playing Tennessee and stuff, it doesn't work. When they got into the MAC, they're showing some the formula for success here. Defensively, they've got a problem. They can't stop the run. They're allowing 199 rushing yards per game. That'd be 114th in the country. So what are teams doing on them? They're trying to run the ball. Ball State's trying to combat that by throwing it all over the place and wearing teams down with tempo so we've got the ball state part of the equation who are they playing they're playing kent state the golden flashes three and five on the year again the records really don't mean that much because non-con is a joke for these teams they just get beat up uh kent state did beat long island uh okay ohio and akron they also play crazy fast 13th in the country in seconds per play so let's just stop right there and talk about this eighth in seconds per play for ball state 13th in seconds per play for kent state that's 131 teams in the country, and we've got two inside the top 15. Expect a lot of plays and a lot of tempo here. Both teams are going to be very comfortable playing fast. The difference, Kent State, they do the opposite of Ball State offensively. They basically want to run the ball every play. 43 rushing attempts per game, 18th in the country. They run the ball 58% of the time. Again, top 20 in the country in that number. Defensively, they give up a lot of points. 35 points per game. It's bad. But they're the, again, these teams are like mirror images, but they're also opposites in some way. Kent State can't stop the pass. Opponent yards per pass attempt, 9.3, 128th in the country. There's only a couple teams that are worse than Kent State in stopping the pass. They're allowing 301 passing yards per game. That's 124th in the country. It's pretty easy to see why we're formulating this bet because we've got a Ball State offense that only wants to pass at a very fast tempo against the Kent State defense that can't stop the pass. On the other side, we have the Kent State offense, who only wants to run and play fast, against a Ball State defense that's allowing nearly 200 rushing yards per game. With the tempo and the advantages that both the offenses have, I didn't want to pick a side here. To me, it was pretty simple. If we're going to make a bet here, I like over 62.5. It has come up a little, but we're saving VIG, minus 105. This is probably going to continue to move. I, I think that you could see more juice applied. I could see it ticking to 63 by kickoff. There were some 61 and a halfs out there yesterday. We missed those. I'm still okay with this number at over 62 
and a half again at minus 105. It looks like that doesn't mean to make a difference. It makes a huge difference. So at minus 105, we're saving some vig. I like this spot again. Both offenses, massive advantages. Both teams, massive tempo. When you get into a game like that, it screams shootout. I think that's what we're going to get here tonight. So there you have a little Tuesday night football for you, courtesy of Odd Chopper. Again, I just want to thank everyone for watching the video every day and all the support across this channel. If you have any questions, at JazzRazDFS or hit me up in our premium Discord. The link is in the description below. You sign up, your first week's 100% free. When you do, tag me, say what's up. Happy to answer any questions that you have. But for me, for Kent State, for Ball State, for everyone in the MAC, good luck. Let's go over 62 and a half, and I will talk to you guys soon.